Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about one of my most anticipated books of the year and that is Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. Um, first off, I want to let you guys know that I've already uh, read and reviewed Blacktop Wasteland. That review is up on the channel. I'll leave a link down there in the doobly-doo. I read that one, absolutely fell in love with it. Um, Sean's writing is fantastic, uh, absolutely amazing. It's the best crime fiction I have ever read, period. Um, I used to be a huge Lawrence Block fan. I've not read him in ages, but that was the last crime uh, stuff that I read. I don't know if that's more like detective fiction or what, but anyway, today we are talking about Razorblade Tears. This is a book about two, uh, old, not old men, but two older men. Uh, their, their sons get married and they are murdered. Uh, the whole plot is these two men, uh, coming to grips with how they treated their, their gay sons. Um, dealing with that along with trying to figure out who murdered them. Uh, I bring up the the bit about them. It, it <clears throat> the there's a, there's a very heavy uh, theme of regret in this one, and I think it was handled so very very well. Sean has a knack for uh, the, the written word period, but there were so many truths. Um, that that I read in, in in this book that just blew me away. Uh, one of my favorite lines, and I'm not going to quote it verbatim because I listened to the audiobook, but uh, the uh, on the way on the way to and from scares that care, we blew right through it, man. It was it was so so good. Um, anyways, so <clears throat> with this one, the the theme of regret is is all encompassing. These two men are trying their best to uh, deal with their own emotions regarding their homosexual sons, um, how they treated them uh, when they were younger, when they found out, um, and now they are on the, the war path. And one of the quotes, uh, what I was talking about just a second ago, one of the quotes that I remember is, hate is just, no, revenge is just hate in a better suit. Um, I really, really dug that. Um, talking about how revenge isn't really about justice, um, it's about hate. Um, you you want retribution for being wronged. Um, the pacing in this is off the fucking charts. I I don't know how else to put it. The it it starts and it never stops. Uh, it's it's one of those books where I never wanted to stop reading it. Never want to stop listening to it. Anytime we had to uh, stop at a rest area or something, I, I was like, man, I, I, I got to know what's going on between Buddy Lee and Ike. Uh, there's another character that I really, really like, Tangerine. I, I loved all of these characters, and the villains are so well drawn. Um, Grayson, the main bad guy, which I can't say because it's a, it's a spoiler. Um, I really, really loved the twist. I didn't see it coming at the end. Um regarding a, a main character <clears throat> and I don't want to spoil it for you I don't even want to tell you which character it revolves around but when that hit I my jaw dropped literally I was in the car like <laughs> so yeah I it's, it's very very few times has that ever happened to me I think the the last time it happened to me where my jaw was on the floor was with uh, Chuck Palahniuk's choke um this is this is one of the this is a book that is going to upset some people, and rightly so. Um, I won't. I, I won't go into any more details, but it, there is a strong. I mean, he the, already getting. He's already being buffeted. The author is. Sean's already being buffeted by people upset because he told the truth, and I. I, I respect the hell out of Sean for that. Um, he he's just a fantastic person. Um, I, I'm. I'm, he's, uh, what is it, not an associate, he's an acquaintance of mine, we follow each other on Twitter, um, I've never really talked to the man, but uh, he, I, I like the cut of his jib, um, as the saying goes, but the the characters are amazing, pacing is amazing, and the dread suffused in this book is just dripping with dread. As you're going along, you're wondering how, how they're going to get out of search, si certain situations, how they're going to fix certain things, and... I, it's almost a horror novel, um, especially 
you know, with the with the action and the violence and the brutality, the gore is so well done. Um, it's it, it it's a horror novel for me, and it might not be for you, but it definitely is for me, especially being a parent. Um, I can't imagine losing one of my kids, no matter how old they are. Um, I the themes of LGBTQIA uh, were I I feel they were well done. Um, I feel that every single character was represented well. I, I that's the best way I can put it. Um, I wanted to see these two men succeed at just waging utter war, and I wanted them to get. The, the I wanted the bad guys to get their comeuppance. They were vile. They were hateful. They were uh, ugly, racist, all all different kinds of things. It, it just the the type of villains that you absolutely love to hate. Um, those those are my favorite ones. Those are my favorite types of villains. But you, I, it's not really that you understood where they were coming. Well, me, I, not that you, not that I understood where they were coming from. But all of their motivations were believable. Um, do I like it more than Blacktop Wasteland? I think I do. Um, in fact, my wife uh, said we're going to have to buy two of his books from now on, two copies, uh, because she is now a, a, a fan. So she'll be reading Blacktop Wasteland next. I highly, highly recommend this book, the highest possible recommendation, and it's now in my top five of the year. Um, I don't know if it's a contender for number one yet, because I I mean, the other black girl and Where the Truth Lies were fantastic also. But those three are up here at the top, and I'm going to have to do some serious debating and thinking about who I'm going to put up there. Or I might just, you know, chicken out and just say that this list is in no particular order, and this is, you know, like I did last year. But anyways, have you read this fantastic book, Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby? If you have... Uh, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it, or uh, whether or not you were meh. If you were any of those things, let me know why. Don't just say, this book sucks, or this book is fantastic. Let me know why, so that we can have a conversation. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! -bye.